This is the USS Enterprise, and this is likely the sign most recognizable for Leonard Nimoy. I am in the home of prolific science fiction writer Robert Sawyer. And thank you so much for being here. And you say that Leonard Nimoy really did, and Star Trek really did, become the foundation for your career. He did. It's the reason I'm a science fiction writer. I was seven years old when I saw the first episode of Star Trek that I happened to encounter in first run when it was first shown. And it was an incredible episode where Spock did the Vulcan mind meld with the Horda, which was this alien creature. And he was also talking about how he would not kill, how he was a pacifist. I was the child of an American living in Canada during the Vietnam War. Nobody was talking about not taking up arms in primetime drama television. Leonard Nimoy as Spock was doing that. It was extraordinarily powerful stuff. And I don't know if this, if there, there's a generation right now who never spent their childhood as I did, pushing your fingers together to try it took to make me forever to get to be able to do that. Yes. And so, what is it about Spock, about Leonard Nimoy, that still transcends now to the year 2015? Spock was the outsider, the quintessential misfit. He had no home. He was half human, which means he didn't fit in on Vulcan, and half Vulcan, which meant he didn't fit in on Earth. And for Obviously, the demographic who's attracted to stories of other places and other times, we all feel misfits in the here and now. He so encapsulated what it was to have no place that you could call home, and uh, we all gravitated to the dignity and the stoicism with which he bore all of the slings and arrows that were shot at him. And Leonard Nimoy, the man, did he resent being so closely tied with Spock, or did he kind of... You know, it was a journey for him, because in the 70s, he wrote an autobiography, I Am not Spock. Actually, I think I saw we have a copy here. That. I am not Spock. Later on, he subsequently wrote another volume called I Am Spock, oh. which really encapsulates it. In the 70s, you know, he had done three years on Star Trek, nominated for an Emmy Award every year for but his work on Star three Trek. Years, right? and, and that's right. And then 10 years later, nobody is hiring him as an actor on TV. And he's railing against the fact and and remember back then actors didn't get residuals you know the show was being shown everywhere but he wasn't getting paid for it being shown so look i'm not spock but then he had this kind of epiphany later in life that i'm going to be remembered i'm an actor a character actor who's going to be remembered long after i'm gone and i think today is the beginning his passing of a long legacy. People will be watching him and enjoying his work. Not just this is the 50th anniversary of the first time he played Spock, but the 100th anniversary. People will be remembering him. That's a wonderful thing. Leonard Nimoy has such a is so in, ingrained in our heads mm -hmm. as being that stoic man. He never smiled on. It never showed right. any emotion. Right. Was he? Was it weird to oh, see him smiling off? He had camera? a wonderful, wonderfully warm smile. I mean, this is the thing. He was not. He literally was not Spock. Who could be this? This alien being. He was this incredibly warm, generous guy. And, you know, Shatner was known as a, a prankster and would tell terrible puns and do pratfalls. And Nimoy had this really wry sense of humor, but his smile could just light up a room. He's just an amazingly warm hearted man. And he's going to be very missed. He sure will. And I will let you know that I have in my somewhere in my basement a record of Leonard Nimoy singing. He was a better actor than he was a singer. That is true. That is <laughs> but, very but the songs were catchy. This, that, but a lot of people don't know that Leonard Nimoy actually put out a couple of albums. Oh, yeah, and, and uh, uh, some of the videos of those albums are on YouTube now. You can go see this. But yes, let's remember his great achievements today and forgive us all our peccadillos. <laughs> Good luck.